Remember the Chinese spy balloon incident that made headlines on February 2, 2023? U.S. officials spotted a mysterious balloon hovering over Montana, sparking global intrigue. Despite China's claim that it was a lost weather balloon, subsequent confirmation by U.S. officials revealed its true nature as a spy balloon, highlighting the limitations of traditional surveillance methods. In response to the persisting challenges in surveillance, BAE Systems has recently announced a significant milestone in the development of their latest innovation, the Persistent High Altitude Solar Aircraft, or FASA-35. This fragile-looking spy aircraft is a novel, ultra-lightweight unmanned aerial system that provides an alternative and flexible approach to conventional systems, such as balloons, satellites or conventionally powered aircraft, for surveillance, reconnaissance, and efficient imagery and communications, among other capabilities. In this video, we are taking a closer look at the capabilities of the FASA-35 UAV, exploring its potential applications in both military and civilian contexts. Let's dive right in. FASA-35, which stands for Persistent High Altitude Solar Aircraft, is developed by Prismatic, a subsidiary of BAE Systems. Functioning as an ultra-lightweight solar electric high-altitude pseudo-satellite system, it provides a cost-effective alternative to traditional satellites. The system is designed for applications such as surveillance, border control, communications, and disaster relief. FASA-35 had its beginnings with engineers who previously worked on the development of the Zephyr HAPS drone for Kinetic. Following the transition of the Zephyr project to Airbus in 2013, these engineers established Prismatic to create a rival aircraft. The development of FASA-35 commenced in 2018 in collaboration with BAE Systems. In 2019, BAE Systems acquired Prismatic as a subsidiary. In less than a year from this acquisition, FASA-35 completed its maiden flight in Australia. This accomplishment was supported by the British and Australian Defence Science and Technology Laboratories, underscoring the collaborative efforts and expertise invested in the project. Recognizing growing interest in the US, BAE Systems announced plans for a flight demonstration in January 2021 and subsequently moved the project to the US. The first breakthrough stratospheric flight occurred in July 2023 at a US military range in New Mexico. The FASA-35 drone reached a remarkable cruising altitude of 66,000 feet before landing the following day. Now, let's take a look at its design, specifications, and capabilities. The FASA-35 features a remarkable design with a wingspan of 35 meters or 115 feet and an incredibly lightweight body crafted from pencil-thin carbon fiber material. Weighing a mere 150 kilograms or 330 pounds, the aircraft stands out for its precision and innovative features. An interesting aspect of its design is the absence of landing gear, opting instead for takeoff using a disposable carriage. The aircraft performs a controlled belly landing, allowing for easy retrieval and reusability. The FASA-35 is powered by small electric engines, but also features solar panels on its wings. When combined with its lithium batteries, this configuration enables the craft to remain airborne for extended periods, ranging from a few weeks and up to a year. The system exhibits a deliberate and controlled ascent, moving at around 90 km per hour as it climbs to its designated high-altitude position. This deliberate pace allows the aircraft to counter strong winds at high altitudes and maintain its position, even appearing to move backward relative to the Earth's spin at ground level. Equipped with a compact set of cameras or sensors, this high-altitude pseudo-satellite can linger over specific locations for extended periods, offering continuous monitoring of communications or providing valuable intelligence on enemy troop activities. BAE Systems also highlights the potential versatility of HAPS. Military applications involve extended observation of specific areas, potentially replacing traditional satellites. In fact, military strategists in the US and UK are already exploring the possibility of HAPS completely replacing traditional satellites. 
The UK Ministry of Defence has initiated Project Ether, incorporating high-altitude balloons and solar-powered planes into their trials involving pseudo-satellites. On the commercial front, pseudo-satellites can be utilized to form configurations for providing internet connections in remote areas, among other applications. So, what do you think? Do you find these systems as intriguing as we do? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.